The damage from what they were not calling an invasion was quite noticeable but it wasn't outstanding. Nonetheless, a lot of repairs had to be done and Frieza and Gaku had to be involved. Frieza had furiously fought against it because he Lord Frieza was not going to do manual labor. Before this he had barely set foot on the ground, much rather preferring to sit in his hover chair or fly where he needed to go but now Gaku was asking him to abandon that. Come on Frieza, it would be so much fun. Plus you can count this as training. And remember you did promise to train with me. Frieza had just scoffed at that but eventually had yielded. There was no one to pamper him on this planet and Gaku had chimed in. Plus it also sounded like it was your fault. Gaku had received a swift hit to the back of the head from the Emperor's tail as he walked past Let's Go Monkey. The Saiyan had just scratched his head following Hey I'm not a monkey, did you see a tail anywhere? It didn't take long before they were integrated into the workflow with the Yardats acting most surprised seeing him out and about. He still wanted to ask them about what they were doing since they didn't know who he was, but what Gaka had told him after stood out. I think they were testing you, that had caused Frieza to raise his brow but my skills are already proven. That much you have seen. It had become easier for Frieza to speak with Gaku after the Saiyan had repeated quite often that he felt as if Frieza was scared to talk with him and had asked that he speak with him more normally. Frieza hadn't believed it at first because he thought it was a trap even after all they had experienced to lure him into a false sense of complacency before ripping him apart. After all, those legends of the Super Saiyan had depicted them as cold calculating killing machines that seem only fueled by anger and the power to destroy. He had seen that part of him briefly which is why he still shivered when he saw or felt that golden aura that Gaku emitted. But back to Gaku's word on this being a test, the longer he thought about it the more it made sense. The eyes that always seemingly observed him wherever he went. How he almost felt as if they were staring at him when he was facing the pirates. Their reaction to him decimating the pirates too was unexpected. There was no panic. Well maybe from a few but the majority just stood and watched silently. It sent shivers up his spine reminding him of some lower beings that he had exterminated that were able to see the future. Those troublesome little creatures. He shook his head before he was interrupted by Gaku coming at him with a sprint, after having learned the basics of chakra sensing as Gaku had told him. The Saiyan's presence was still hard to miss. He remember Gaku mentioning something about suppressing power levels during his ramblings with his mouth stuffed off food. Frieza hadn't been amused. Hey Frieza. Gaku said cheerily going in for a hug that Frieza resisted momentarily before Gaku broke it off I want to ask more about your planet because we got interrupted when you were still telling me. But if I remember correctly Gaku I had told you that we concluded that talk before. Frieza said stern faced and even so, what's there to know? Gaku rubbed the back of his head relax, no need to bite my face off. It's just this is my first time in space and I want to know everything. That shocked Frieza somewhat this is your first time? To which Gaku just nodded with a reply him that explains now why you didn't know me, and the planet that you claim to come from is in one of the backwater systems. Hey, Earth is not so bad, Gaku said defensive but without a hit of threat which stopped Frieza from going on the attack. Well. It is compared to the rest of the universe. Oh yeah, maybe that's true. I haven't seen the rest of the universe but Namek looked almost like Earth too. Bringing up Namek had been something that had started plaguing Friesen ever since the wound from their fight had recovered. He had done it without authorization and he knew whether now, in a decade or a century there were going to be consequences. Hey! Frieza are you alright? He regained his composure seeing a worried looking Gaku staring at him after he had blanked out. Yes I'm quite alright. Are you sure? Dot. Because you kind of just looked out in the distance and stopped moving or anything. The images flashed in Frieza's head, 
of that being using him and his father as servants whenever he came for a visit. He had never known why his father panicked before when the being came, how little he cared to be the one standing forth against his menacing large eyes. Frieza's key started spiking and now Gaku was really concerned. Hey, what is it? You can tell me about it? Frieza could see his father bowing before the ruler of their universe as he lay on the ground broken and beaten with a being's foot set on his head, how he had gotten there. He couldn't remember, one moment he said he is the only true emperor, the next he was on the group in shambles. I guess there's no point in delaying the inevitable, might as well tell you now, so as you don't act as stupid as I did back then. Gaku scratched his head his name is Lord Beerus, the strongest in the universe. Gaku didn't believe him, that can't possible, I mean aren't you the strongest in the universe? Frieza just looked away with a scoff that's what he wants you to think. But compared to him, I'm nothing. Gaku could see the look that Frieza was giving him, if whoever this bear sky was that strong to worry Frieza more than him then this was a whole other league. That sounds awesome he jumped cheering before he was smacked by Frieza's tail to the back of his head. Did you really hear nothing that I said Gaku just dropped his head pouting, you never said anything, you just said he is really strong, Frieza stopped. Oh maybe he was right about that, regardless, not many beings have even seen Lord Beerus let alone survive to tell the tale, that got Gaku to momentarily take it seriously so he's that strong? And Frieza just replied to him with a growl, then I guess that just means you are going to have to train with me more, Frieza just grumbled and what would be the point? to buy myself a few seconds of agony before he ends me. Gaku wanted to reply but couldn't find the words, till he tightened his fist and resolved no, it's to show that you never give up and you can always push through no matter the obstacle. And if you fail it's fine because you know you tried your best, while to others this seemed like an inspirational speech to Frieza it just reminded him of the tales his father spoke of beings that had uttered those same words before they met their end. I would advise you to avoid him Gaku. After all, it would be me that he is after Gaku was confused for a moment why, because you used to be the emperor and everything? But Frieza just shook his head because I destroyed Namek without authorization. That confused the Saiyan more what does that mean? Dot. It means I did it without his permission and when he finds it's gone he will really wipe out my race for good. Gaku wanted to know more about what Frieza had just said as those words replayed in his head wipe out my race for good did this Beerus guy already destroy Frieza's planet? The Saiyan put his arm around Gaku's shoulder as he leaned in closer with a serious expression on his face. Tell me everything? And so Frieza proceeded to tell him all he knew about the mysterious being that awoke from his slumber to wrath destruction on the universe on a whim, all the while the two were being observed by the Elder Yardit. Meanwhile far on the other side of the cosmos on a lone planet surrounded by floating structures stood Wiss looking into his staff. Well this is an unexpected turn. These events would rather be entertaining for Lord Beerus but he requested that I should not wake him from his nap. Wiss, let out a sigh well it's at least something to watch, the universe had been rather settled and I know that tends to upset the Xenos.